there, YouTube? What's up out there, YouTube? This is SDL 0320. Joe Johnson 030. We represent JVS. Yep. This is episode 8 of Arrow uh, Legends of Yesterday. The episode yesterday that came on, ironically, <laughs> with the Flash was Heroes of Today. And this is all preluding to The Legends of Tomorrow, which is awesome. Um, Features in this episode, you had Hawk Girl, Hawk Man. I mean, a lot of stuff that was going on, of course, with Oliver's dynamics with Connor, his son. Uh, there's a lot that's going on, and this is actually a really good episode. I think that um, there's a lot of surprises with this episode that I didn't expect, but this is going to be a spoiler-free review, so just keep that in mind. Uh, Joe, what did you think about the episode, though? Well, I mean, I thought it was a good episode. Uh, it's definitely action pack. I didn't know how it was going to be uh, savage. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, the dude was pretty... I didn't realize exactly the depths of like how the detriment he could cause, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what? You want to bring that up though, because I mean, I, when we posted, well, I posted a small, brief snippet of kind of how when it was happening, how it was making me react. What did you think about when the explosion happened? Like, what was your instant reaction without, I guess, reenacting it? <laughs> I mean, I I thought they were dead. <laughs> you know, so not even not even the fact that they were actually being burned alive, but the fact that nothing that they did worked. Uh, so I was just like, how how could they beat this guy? Yeah. Even if Barry goes back in time, I still didn't know what was the what was gonna be the remedy was, of the whole situation. Exactly. How could they really beat him without you know? I mean, I think yeah. Like when when the joint happened. I freaked out. Like, straight up, it brought me back to, like, Terminator status. Like, I thought instantly Sarah Connor, her dream sequence of everything exploding right in front of her, her literally disintegrating in front of her. It was really good CG. Like, it was, it really hit me emotionally. Uh, I've seen stuff like that on CG level with the Flash, but for it to come on the arrow, it was a perfect touch. And not just that, I mean, like you said, with the, um, the situation, even though we saw Barry, you know, like side by side, we knew he went back in time. He even kind of told Cisco, he's like, look, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to go back in time, even though it's talking about it. There's no reason why I would do it. And just like the situation he was in before with that tidal wave that hit, like it was something that was out of his hands that he had no choice. And he almost got caught up in that joint. Like he almost got, <laughs> this dude almost got burnt. Yeah, man, it was, it was epic, man. If he tripped, oh my God. That would have been, been it for everybody. Everybody would have been done. Yeah. But um, I thought that that was one of the highlight moments of this episode for me. Um, as well as the emotional turmoil that Oliver was going through with the process of his son. Um, because basically the mother, first she lied to him. And then he gets the hair from a hat that the boy had. And told Barry to go and check into it. Found out that it was a positive ID that was his son. Went back to her. And she still was like, yeah, these are my terms, and you can take them or leave them. You know, I was like, yeah, she's wrong for that. I mean, regardless of the fact, you're like, yeah, you tell the man either he can't do this or not. Like, you can't sit there and tell him the, the love is like, so what if he was married? You know what I'm saying? Like, and she's telling him to keep that a secret. That is, in turn, going to mess up his marriage. And, I mean, that's that serious. And, I mean, regardless of the first time around it messed up Oliver, Emotionally, because Felicity wanted to dump him, I think that even the second time around, him keeping it from her is going to have ramifications in the long term. Um, because a secret like that, when she finds out, that joint's going to be a hole, man. It's going to be a really big hole. Uh, it might be worse than even like Felicity dying, which a lot of people have been speculating that Felicity might die at the end of the episode, I mean, in the season. Because you remember the first episode where Oliver's at like this tombstone? And you're wondering who he's there with, because it takes place in the future. So I, I don't know. I, that was my one little speculation. Um, but what about Hawk Girl or um, Hawk Man? What did y'all think? What do you think about them? Because this is your first time actually seeing them in action, because you didn't see epi yesterday's episode. But what did you think? I guess this turn around. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know, I think as a team, I don't, I think they did probably the least amount of, like, work? Not work, but fighting. Yeah. They did, they did do work, but I mean, the least amount of fighting. 
Um, that, that, that show, but... Yeah. Uh, which is not bad, but... I mean, well, what did you think about Felicity, her reaction um, to Oliver finding out that he had a son the first time? Like, do you think she was... Do you think she overreacted? Because I kind of felt like she overreacted, because... I feel like she did overreact um, because she didn't allow him to breathe. Any man that just realized something, just the situation, and yeah, he got caught in a lie, yes. But he wasn't like he was trying to deny it after the fact. You know what I'm saying? He was just like, this is the situation that it is. So it was like, even if he goes and tells her, like, I mean, I think the first time around, he should have just told her flat out after that point. Like, look. I didn't know about this dude. I didn't know about this little kid. Because if I had known, I would be here with him this whole entire time. If he would have just opened his mouth up about that. I feel like after she knew, there was no point of him keeping it a secret at that point. I thought it, it was on both of them. I think she was pulling too much with the whole situation. But he should have just went on and just opened up about it. Because that would have dealt with the whole situation. Like, if she knows, I mean, why are you still keeping it, you know? But it is what it is. Um, but... You're right about uh, Kendra and Hawkman. They did a lot more fighting. Well, Hawkman did a, a really good job in the last episode because he was actually going back and forth with Oliver and the Flash in a pretty good brawl. But in this episode, I mean, it was really just kind of all CG because they just were kind of flying and lunging. It wasn't like they were like going straight hand-to-hand -hand combat. Not just that, they didn't have their maces. Like, they didn't have like the, the signature weapons that I was assuming was going to take effect. Um, as well as that spear, the spear that actually stabbed them, that was glowing as well at the same exact time as his staff. So it was like, what happened to that little shank that was to the side? I thought that was going to get put into play, but that never got brought up again in the episode. Um, but I mean, generally, as far as the um, choreography, as far as like the timing of how they did stuff with the time warp, I thought it was a solid episode. Um, I don't know, anything else we forgetting? The end, or well, the very end. Why would Malcolm do that? Like, what does he have? I mean, yeah, the dude is, yeah, he's going to come back to life. I kind of figured this dude going to come back from with his ashes. And he's going to lay the waste to everybody, you know. But, I mean, yeah, you, you owe this man a favor, but eventually you're going to die. And your daughter's still going to be alive to reap what you just did. Mm -hmm. And it's like... I don't know, it's not It's not a means to an end to me. Like, I feel like that was just a cop-out on Malcolm's part. I mean, I just, it didn't make sense. They really did. It didn't make sense to me. Like, like, right now, he's just being greedy. Like, you can't put, you can't control someone with that amount of power and put them in your back pocket. No. You know, and expect not to get burned. Like, you know, he's like, he's had a league of shadows. Like, you know what I'm saying? What more does he want? Like, exactly. What more do you want, bro? I mean, what kind of favor? Like, you know, that's just, you're being greedy. You're being really greedy right now, Malcolm. Yeah. I hope you're watching this video. Because you're being really greedy. Yeah, Malcolm. You suck. But nah. <laughs> what would you give the episode as far as rating, though? Ah, oh, man, I love it. I give it a 10, bro. I, I give it a 9.5. I give it a 9.5. I think it was the first time, like, I've rated something higher than you. Yeah, it is. Because the last episode that came out yesterday, I gave it a 9. And I really wanted to give it a 10, but it wasn't. That epic kind of feeling. The only thing about this episode that pushed it for me was that explosive sequence. I didn't see that joint coming at all. I was not prepared for it emotionally or mentally. Uh, but it was clutch. Holy Savage is not playing. <laughs> <laughs> he said about it tomorrow, destroying everything. He was dead serious. He was like, I'm destroying everything. I was like, well, I was like, not everything. <laughs> like, surely you're not gonna destroy everything. I'm sitting there looking at Diggle no. through the window. All of a sudden, Diggle just burst into the yeah, yeah, I'm like, God, no. Like, like, clearly, he he destroyed everything. So, everybody. I mean, well, we both he give our ratings. The entire series. But what is he gonna bring to Lens of Tomorrow? Because it seems like he's a feature villain. Mm -hmm. So, either one, he's gonna come up because of what Malcolm did later on in the future. And he's going to cause all these different kind of ripple effects later on because of what these heroes did this day and age. Um, I mean, I think he's a good additional villain. Like, I don't know how the future villains or, or future heroes are going to be able to stop him. Um, I mean, they got a good squad with, like, the Adam and they got Sarah and they got Captain Cole and all that. But... I feel like they're going to need some extra help. They're going to have to go between times and actually add in additional heroes because this joint ain't going to work. 
Like, that dude is savage. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's our conclusion to our score for review for Legends of Yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below what you thought about the episode and our review. And uh, tonight, that Jimmy Kimmel though, Batman vs Superman feature footage, we're going to react to it. Stay tuned. Man, I'm crazy. I'm getting hot and hungry.